estate in the Ducky? Do you like real estate? Hmm. Have a margarita in the Ducky. Oh, yes. You like that, don't you, little Ducky? This is very, very exciting, is it? Oh! Insurance chick! How's it going? Good, hey, Nick. How are you? I'm great. Cheers to the wonderful ending of the Arctic House here in Bedford, New Hampshire. I was just uh, enjoying myself in my luxurious uh, bubbles, which, um, well, it's a little dry, but I still feel it under my feet if I pretend hard enough. I already drank everything. But welcome to the version part four, or could be part five, of the Arctic here in Bedford, New Hampshire. Why don't we take a look at the finished product, shall we? That'll be really good. We have some good challenges to tell you about. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, God. Ducky, you're going to go over here. Oh, God. We have, as we walk through, the one of the best stagers we've ever found. And we're going to talk about Lisa in a second. Lisa, you're awesome. Thank you for all the work you've done here. All the stuff you're going to see is from Lisa. We might even throw her contact info off for people um, in this video when you see it. So at the end. Okay? Let's take a walk through our beautiful hot tub room. And now we're in our lovely sun room. Is it lovely insurance chick? I love it. It's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> Let's keep going through the beautifulness. Wow. What do you think? Gorgeous? There's not much to talk about here, but let's have a, let's have a talk with Nick. Come on closer. So, folks, what ended up happening was we had some challenges with our contractor, okay? It happened about 95% into the job. And I'll tell you, no matter what, you're always supposed to be ahead of your contractor on payments because in this case, the last 5%, can you believe it, 5 he decided not to do. We gave him our final punch list twice, and he decided not to do it. So we had to withhold the money from that final punch list and pay one of our other preferred contractors to get it done. So never, ever be afraid to fire a contractor, even if it's at the very end of the job. Sometimes you have to do it. It's really, really sad. We had a great experience with him, up to 95%, but after that, the last thousand bucks is the most important thousand dollars you spend in the house. And we need to list it. So come on through. You'll see what else we did. Church chick, do you like the gleaming hardwood floors? I do. The gleaming hardwood floors. They're brand new, right, Nick? They're brand spanking new. In fact, even the trees were babies. It's like veal for the floor. Veal floors. Because the baby trees were like, no, don't kill me. And they killed them. It was awful. It was awful. What, did I say that? I didn't just say that. Glamorous kitchen, pan over it, it's lovely, it's gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. Couple more issues. Everyone likes issues. Fringe, measured four times. Measure how many times? Four. Always measure four times and cut once, right? Measured four times. Home Depot continued to send the wrong fridge. It was not Margarita's fault. She's awesome. It was the store's fault. Three times the wrong fridge. We finally got the right one in here. And also, FYI, or FIE, did you know that a double oven, when it's not a double oven, when it's an oven and a microwave, costs $1,500 more than a double oven does? Did you know that, insurance chain? I did not know that. Well, now we know. Because we got an awesome, like, $1,800 credit when we just switched to the double oven. And people like double ovens more, it seems, because as of today, we have two huge offers on this house, okay? But we can't take home sale contingencies. So if you want to buy the Arctic house, the legit double A awesome Arctic house, you can't, you, no home sale contingency for you. No home sale contingency for you. And if you do have it, no house for you. That's how we roll. Nest, lodge room. It smells like sea, sea stuff. Um, lodge room, what do you think? They did an awesome job matching that. That was the old contractor. He did a great, great, great job trying to block in that room and stain it just to look almost the exact same. What was it, there before? Well, I guess you'll see. The office before. Oh, what was there before? Insert picture here, Julia. That was a legit office. And now it is not a legit office. Now it is a legit wall. 
Crazy bathroom. In and out. Just in and out. Crazy bathroom. Want to see crazy bathroom? In. High end fancy sink. Fancy schmancy. I hate those sinks. I don't like them at all, but people like them. I love them. Do you? Yeah. I hate the little bowl sinks. They're pretty. They don't make any sense. You guys like my master? Is this nice? Is it lovely? We put a deck out here, guys. Some of you may remember. There was nothing here, so we put like just a small patio, a little Juliet deck out there. Oh, it's a great addition. It's pretty legit. And as now it's the summer, you can see all the greenery outside. Um, it's nice and green and beautiful. And here is our nice addition. This we turned into a bubblea and took this wall out. We kicked it in the face. And here we are. Our his and hers vanity sink, uh, our um, relaxing area, as it would be. And then we have our blam shower and jacuzzi area. For those of us that don't just like uh. one piece of bubbles, we like two bubbles. Check it out. Quick pan. Quick pan of the bathroom. Ba blam Great granite. We have a great granite guy. You like the granite? Yes. Sure check? Yeah. Do you folks at home like the granite? Okay, cool. Let's go. It looks just like a bedroom. It's not really exciting. And we have our master bath off of the master bedroom for the upstairs. Legit tile work. It is almost too legit. You guys caught that reference? Too legit? I'm like smashing my martini glass. Gotta watch out for my martini glass. Why don't we now head out to the coolest part of this house, which is actually not even in the house, it's outside. Come check this place out. Okay. French drain. Working right now. I was just curious what the sound was. Legit French drain installed, no water in the basement anymore. Legit. It's awesome. It's Mickey! I've got a drink for you! Ha ha ha! What do you think, guys? Tiki bar! Legit! This is this is too legit to quit. Right here, guys. Insurance chick, you are at a granite bar on the tiki bar, and it is so cool in here. We got a TV up here. We got um well the alcohol is fresh out until double A opens his mobile bar out of the trunk of his car. That that rhymed. <laughs> Um, but it's like awesome in here, guys. It's crazy. So we're going to spin around. You can see the back of the house. This house, 4,000 square feet of pure double A awesomeness, is now on the market, listed at 419 in Bedford, New Hampshire, one of the higher end school districts and towns in New Hampshire. And we currently have two offers on the table, both very near asking price but both have home sale contingencies. Been on the market for one week, and we are looking forward to selling this in the next uh, two weeks or so. So until then, I wanted to thank you for joining us on another Rehab Chronicles with AAREMentor.com, and I'm going to see you at the next one, where we go to maybe another Arctic place, or maybe we got a nice place in Chelmsford, Massachusetts for you. Who knows? You'll have to tune in to check out. See you guys next time. This is great for like a really like um, uh, a fighting couple.
Because, you know, you can have the woman in the wonderful hot tub out front, and then the guy, when he's all pissed, he can sit in the jacuzzi tub, and they can still do bubbles together, but not together. It's great. It's good for couples.